Shakas! Aloha crafty friends! It's Maka from Maka's Home. I'm here today to share with you a quick um, stamp. I made a bunch of cards, not a bunch, but a few. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I made seven cards out of this stamp. The stamp I've had in my stash for a while. I did get it at the expo last year, so, and I believe it was like part of their clearance bins maybe, so I'm not sure if it is still available, but it is from Rubbernecker, and it is open range. And that's their little sample on the packaging. It does come with two sets of in the stamp. This is for the background and then a tree set for the, you know, scenery. So all I did was put it in my Stamparatus. I think that's what this is called. It is from Stampin' Up. And I just got a watercolor uh, paper. I don't know why I'm using watercolor paper, but that's what I'm using. And I want to leave space for a sentiment down here. And so that looks like a good space. And then what I did was I have this uh, stamp set stamp pad in my stash. I've had it for years, 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 and I've barely use it, but I did take it because it's this rainbow effect like this. I did take it to use for this stamp die. And because it's uh, like green for the meadows and blue for the sky, I just swiped it across the stamp in the same direction like this, like that. And I'm just pressing a little bit, but hopefully, we'll see. And then I stamped it on, let me get my little hockey puck. I'm not sure what this is called, but I just call it a hockey puck. Sorry, it's shaking the whole table. But there it is. So that's my background I ended up with. The sh 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 Let me see if I can get better lighting. Okay. And because the middle is kind of washed out, it didn't uh, stamp well, I'm going to try this again and focus on the middle of the the middle of the stamp and that's one thing because it's in the stamparatus it'll stamp in the exact same spot again this time I'm gonna concentrate more pressure on the middle of the stamp where I want more of it to show up and there I like that better so then I'm gonna switch it out and put the the tree line in. Mm, right about there. And I'm going to apply some VersaFine. Hopefully this is okay. It won't smear. I don't think so. But here's some VersaFine. So you can get a sharp image. And there you go. Background is ready. You can add a sentiment. I added some uh, splatter with the, uh, the colors I used. I added some splatter around and some jemmies and added a sentiment. And let me show you how those all turned out. So I ended up with seven cards, I believe. So here are the cards. And you can see the splatter better on some of them. Here's that one. 
And then I just added sentiments that I had in my stash. If you're a follower of mine, thank you. Thank you for returning. If you're new here, welcome. Please consider liking and subscribing and joining me on this crafty journey. So like I said, if you're a follower of mine, sorry, Akka, then you will know I have a stash of sentiments. Excuse my dog. That I have a stash of sentiments here that um, when I do cards, I just go through my sentiments and uh, pull out what I think will work. And so every once in a while, I'll stamp out a whole bunch of sentiments on some scrap pieces of paper I have and then just add them like fussy cut them out or die cut them if I have the die cuts and just add them to this box here. And that way, you know, when I'm in a bind and I need something real quick, I can go through this and pull out and assemble a card rather quickly. But yeah, so let me know what you think, what you think about these cards. They were simple, like I said, and seriously have had this die for probably about a year. I mean, this stamp for probably about a year and have not um, played around with it until today. So I got, like I said, these seven cards out of the one stamp set. So I hope you guys are having a crafty day for more videos like these. See here. And until my next video, shakas!